All right, today's video is gonna be the gaming test of the new Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro 12.4 inch. Uh, I don't know why they suddenly release a 6S Pro. As far as I know, the 6S non-pro version doesn't exist. So whatever goes, I guess. And this tablet here is huge. So as the name suggests, 12.4 inches, and it is using an IPS LCD screen. Not really an issue if the price is right. And uh, in terms of bezel, I think this is fine. You do need some area to grab as well when you're using the tablet like this. So having some bezel is actually okay for a tablet. And yeah, the performance on this tablet I've tested a bit and it's actually quite good. So let me just show you the specs real quick. So this tablet is using the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is actually not a problem here. I think it's fine. 8 Gen 2 is still very powerful. But in terms of tablets, I think the 8 Gen 3 should be fine because the heat dissipation on tablets are going to be much better than phones because the entire backplate here, this big surface area is going to dissipate heat for you. And then we have the screen resolution. So it is higher than 1440p for sure. So 3048 by 2032. And then the RAM. Okay, the RAM, we have only 8 gigs of LPDDR5 or 5X. I'm not sure what's the speed here. Actually, even the tool doesn't know, but that's okay. So 8 gigs of RAM, plentiful. And then in terms of all of the battery and whatnot, yeah, the battery capacity is quite huge, 10,000 milliampere hour. And we have not done the battery life test yet, so stay tuned for the review for the battery life. So before we begin the gaming test, we have to do the usual setup. So since we already enabled the developer options, we will hit in here, go somewhere near the bottom. Mm, this one, power consumption. I, okay, they don't have the... Oh my god. Okay, then we enable this. The tool is a bit small. It's at the top left corner right now. And then for... Higher-end Xiaomi devices, not all Xiaomi devices will have the game turbo. So if you press on the game turbo here, it is suddenly called namespace. <laughs> and then we, let's just say Genshin Impact for example, we can pull up this menu here. And then from here, we can change some of the graphical settings, I would say. So we have frame rate, resolution, anti-aliasing, uh, anisotropic filtering, texture quality, and also optimized graphics. I'm not sure what the optimized graphics actually does. It does seem like uh, frame interpolation. So I'm not gonna enable that. And then uh, I'm just gonna max out everything here. And then for the additional settings, I am also going to enable everything. Uh, enhanced visual, I am not gonna touch it because it does change the color of the game quite a lot, which I'm not gonna touch it. And then let's just play the game with this setting. Okay, my ping is horrible. I don't know why. Actually, my internet has been weird for the past few days. So we will do whatever we can. I will put the FPS meter somewhere here. I think it's easier to see. And then in terms of graphical settings, I have already maxed out everything. So graphics, as you can see here, everything is at the highest 60 FPS. And then what I'm gonna do now is just to, you know, do my usual things in the game. So let's begin. I will also turn off the light because the reflection is kind of insane. This is a lot better. So, are beautiful creatures. stop talking, sir. Be sure to be and cause them no harm. Okay, sir. I usually don't play touchscreen games on tablet because uh, it's kind of not that ergonomic because each time I want to press buttons like this I have to reach in which is not ergonomic at all wow the ping is really not not liking me today Yeah, I'm lazy. So I don't know if you realize this. Yeah. 
the speakers are on the bottom left and bottom right side, not the top here, even though they are grills, as you can, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there are speaker grills on the top left and top right. Okay. to farm artifacts i need to spend my resin the 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 capsule thing so far the frame rate has been amazing no problems at all i'm not sure how well i will do in the domain given that the ping is so high and playing on the tablet is just not ergonomic at all but i'll try my best Okay, energy recharge though, not sure for who, but okay. Nope. Yeah, the ping is really not liking me today. So I'm not sure what's the render resolution of this game on the tablet, but so far it's been okay to me. So I guess it still looks fine, right? You see this guy still looks handsome. So I guess it's at a pretty okay render resolution. So the frame rate in domains, I would consider it to be typical because domains are very lightweight areas in the game because you don't have to load the overworld, just like Abyss, which is why I usually don't do Abyss on mobile unless you guys really want me to do so. this okay nope Hmm. 
Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. No. And yeah, that's it in terms of artifact farming. Let's walk around and also see what we can do with this tablet. I'm gonna hunt for some treasures. Not sure if there's any treasure around this area, but I hope I can find them. There's one. Oh my god, this ping. Okay, there we go. The frame rate has never dropped anywhere below 50 FPS as far as I know. It's been like 57, 60 throughout the entire gaming test, which is no surprise. The temperature is also at about 42.1 degrees Celsius only. Now it's 42.2. We will stick to this game a bit longer and see if it actually thermal throttles. Tablets usually do not thermal throttle because as mentioned earlier, big surface area to dissipate heat. But I wouldn't okay, but I would be surprised to see that the 8 Gen 2 will thermal throttle because as far as I know, 8 Gen 2 they don't have heating issue like 8 Gen 3, so it it shouldn't thermal throttle at all. Seriously, this game needs controller support on Android. Else it's just really impossible to play on, on this tablet. Touchscreen controls on a tablet, oh my god. I mean my hands literally start to hurt right now. Okay, I need to go claim my reputation reward and then I'm gonna go to the next game. So if you guys want to know loading time, here you go. It's loading from different region. Rather fast, no problems there. And uh, the frame rate has been real consistent so far. Temperature is also consistent. I am in an air conditioned room of 27 degrees Celsius, and so far, I never seen it reach anywhere near like 43 or 44 degrees Celsius, so that's okay. Okay. I'm going to teleport back to Fontaine just to show you guys the uh, loading speed here. Real good. So yeah, in terms of the gaming experience, it's, it's giving me good frame rates, but the size of the tablet, I mean, it's not this tablet's fault. It's just that the game doesn't support controllers. So... If you see here, controller, it's still touchscreen only, which is a big problem for this kind of game. You need to press a lot of buttons quickly, and uh, it's just not ergonomic, and my hands hurt, literally. So you know what, Genshin Impact, we're done here. Now we are moving on to the next game, which is, uh, let's just go 
for COD Warzone because I have trimmed down the gaming test to only these four games. So I will use this thing to launch COD Warzone. So for COD Warzone, what we have here is pretty basic. I would say this game is weird. So you see the visual quality we have is either mid or high. We don't have low. So okay. And then the uh, settings, this is what we're going to use. And practically, this is the highest that we can go for this game. So we will just go into a game using this setting. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a bad time playing this game on a big tablet like this. It's so difficult to press the buttons. I'm still only getting like 60 FPS, I couldn't get anything above it. How do I put plates on myself again? Oof. Ah, God damn it. What the heck? Yeah, once more I would say this tablet will run this game really well, no problems. The the problem is touchscreen gaming. It's a very problematic thing to be doing. There's someone there. Oh shit. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, 
Wey. Okay, bye. So, yeah, like what I mentioned earlier, gaming wise, it's fine. The frame rates are good. It's just the, the tablet gaming experience that's the biggest problem. Big screen, touchscreen gaming, not the most comfortable thing to be doing. Next up, I think I will go for Carex Street. I think this should be fine. Actually, they, they are missing one more game. The, the War Thunder is also a game. I don't know why they didn't add it. So I'm going to try Carex Street first. Okay, so for Carex Street, I know a lot of you guys are interested in this game. So am I because the, the this game is rather demanding, genuinely demanding. So you have Everything max here, motion blur, I usually don't leave it on, but for this case, I'm just gonna leave it on, smoke intensity high, FPS, no limits. So let's just go into the city and start driving around. Uh, I'm gonna go do some races. Don't ask me why I don't want to do drifts, more like I don't know how to drift in this game, so yeah. So I'm gonna drive there. Yeah, touchscreen controls again. Oh, we only get like 40 something FPS. Hmm, interesting. Oh, the loading distance is definitely not good. You see everything just pops out all of a sudden. That's gonna be real distracting. So we get like about 40, 44, 41, 39, 37, okay. I mean, it's still considered smooth. It doesn't have any sort of weird stutters or sudden frame drop, so that's good. But the frame rate is like about 30, 30 now, yeah, 30. Temperature is also rising real fast, 47.6, which I suppose it is thermal throttling right now. Surprising, because usually tablets don't thermal throttle. I don't know how well I do on this kind of tablet, but I'll try. Temperature has dropped back to 46 point something and we are getting better frame rates. Yeah, definitely thermal throttling just now. So we are only getting like 35, 33 and now temperature is at 47. I suppose 47.2 is the maximum that we can go for. Yeah, 47.3 degrees Celsius, frame rate is 26 just now, for a second. But now it's, at, it's rising back a little bit, 47.2, 34 FPS. Yeah, definitely thermal throttling, but it's not that obvious. I mean, you can definitely feel that it is at a lower frame rate, but it doesn't suddenly drag you down to a slideshow kind of frame rate, so... I would still consider it to be well managed in this case. So, okay. Yeah, the loading distance is definitely distracting. Things just keep popping in and out. You see, you see everything just keeps popping in. 
I don't know if that's a game issue or the tablet having some sort of a loading speed issue, but okay, that, that's something to highlight because it is definitely distracting. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop playing this game right now. In terms of experience, the, the, the performance is good. It's just, again, touchscreen gaming is the problem here. I'm not sure if this game actually supports controllers. Let me give it a quick check. Uh, yes, it does support a gamepad. So if you can get a stand for this tablet, pair a Bluetooth controller, then it, it's going to be a very good. So the final game that we're going to test here is War Thunder. So the reason why I included War Thunder is practically just for the ray tracing. So let's give it a try. Okay, so for War Thunder, the uh, graphical quality, I have already maxed out everything. Now, as far as I know, 8 Gen 2 has the same ray tracing capabilities as the 8 Gen 3 because I tested recently with another 8 Gen 2 phone and the performance is identical. So yeah, as in 8 Gen 2 and 8 Gen 3's ray tracing performance is identical in this game in particular. But for such a big tablet, I'm not sure how things go. Uh, yeah, this game has two frame rate counters right now. So one here, one here. And trust the one that's in the game. That's much more accurate in terms of the measurement and also the polling rate. Xiaomi's tool is more like a reference. It's not particularly the best. Yeah. Frame rate is surprisingly good. We're getting like 70 something here. Temperature it's lower, so for the 5 point something, it's not thermal throttling at all. Okay, I just entered one shot and I'm dead. Yeah, this game is a very pay to win game by the way. If you if you can buy the best tanks in the game then you kinda automatically win.
All I can say is frame rate is good, performance is good, this game is not. As in, this, this game, I literally just play this game for the sake of testing ray tracing. And the game is not fun. Yeah, this game is not fun. The controls, they try to be as realistic as possible, but realistic doesn't mean it's fun, right? So yeah, in terms of performance for this game, it's good. Performance is good. Experience is questionable. I won't play that many games for this gaming test is because tablets are very, very difficult to handle because of the touchscreen gaming experience. But uh, all I have to say is that performance, real good. Gaming experience, questionable, especially if the game doesn't support controllers like Genshin Impact, it's going to give you a very, very hard time. Even though the screen is big, everything is beautiful, it's just not fun. Yeah. And this camera bump is totally useless. I don't know why it's so big. These two are fake cameras. This one is totally useless. It's a depth sensor or a macro camera. I don't know. Either way, it looks the same. And then this one is the main camera. That's it. This camera bump could have been so much smaller. So yeah, that's the gaming test for the Xiaomi. What was this thing called again? The Xiaomi Pad 6S Pro 12.5. Is that correct? No, 12.4. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we will have a full review for this tablet as well because we also have all of the accessories. One thing that I have to tell you now is that when you buy this tablet, it doesn't come with a screen protector. So if you are planning to get this tablet and you need some sort of screen protection, buy the screen protector beforehand because it is not included. So yeah, if you have any questions regarding this tablet, then do leave them down in the comment section below. I will include it in the full review. And thanks for watching everyone. Do like and subscribe. We will have more videos other than just this tablet. We will talk about thermal throttling as well. So yeah, we'll see you guys in those videos. Goodbye.